Jesus said, I come next, you might have life, and next, you might have it more abundantly. I've been preaching all, all here in Harlem. It was worth preaching here in Harlem where I was born at. God bless you, my brother. Amen. Thank you, my brother. Amen. Thank you. You too, my brother. It was worth preaching all week in Harlem in the Bronx. We had a young man, a young woman, rather, who wanted to commit suicide. She was a lesbian, and she said she wanted to die. But after she heard the gospel, she changed her mind. It was worth preaching the gospel to stop somebody from committing suicide. I didn't do it. God did it. I'm just a vessel. We had a drug addict came to Christ right here in Harlem. He took his drugs out of his pocket, tore it up, and came to Jesus. We had an alcoholic came to Christ. He wanted to kill himself. It was worth preaching the gospel just to see somebody get saved. I don't preach for money. So because the churches are shut down, that ain't going to stop me from preaching God's word. I don't want no money. Because so many pastors won't preach the word because they ain't getting no paycheck. That means he, he would get it for the money. We're not supposed to preach for money. The joy that God wants to give to you is free of charge. You ain't got to raise no big law offering for this. We got to meet false prophets on the television begging for your money and charging you a thousand dollars. That's a false prophet. The Bible warns us about these false prophets. Wuss and she clothing. Salvation is free. God want to give you a joy. God bless y'all today. Amen. God want to give you a joy that drugs cannot give you. History is repeating itself all over again with the racism. That times are getting worse. I can understand why people are mad. I'm mad. I can understand why people are angry. We got to deal with the coronavirus and got to still deal with the racism. So I can understand why people are stressed out. I can understand why people are angry. But tearing up people's business is not going to help the situation. Killing one another is not going to help the situation. What do tearing up stores got to do with black lives? It's a black man that tore up another man, black man's store. That got nothing to do with black lives. You see, when your heart is wicked, then you begin to do wicked things. The time for America to turn back to God. The time for the White House to turn to God. The time for Donald Trump to get the Holy Ghost. Trump ain't shit. Trump need to get the Holy Ghost or he going to hell if you don't repent. I said Trump ain't shit. I didn't say he was. I said Donald Trump need to get the Holy Ghost unless he going to hell. We all need to get the Holy Ghost. And we need to stop that cursing. Because let me tell you something. When God is in your heart, he takes cursing out of your mouth. Ain't that right, brother? We all used to curse at one time. I probably cursed more than you did. Because <laughs> we all was born in sin. But Jesus is the answer for the world today. And we got to live right. It's not enough just to tell others to stop doing right. I stop doing wrong and we doing the same wrong thing. We got to put down the cigarettes and the liquor and cheating on your wife and, and cheating on your husband. And let's grow to love God. When you love God, you love one another. When you love God, you don't cheat on your wife. When you love God, you don't curse. When you love God, you don't kill. The Bible said, thou shall not kill. What is God trying to tell the nation? God wants us to repent. God wants us to turn from our wicked ways. I want you to listen to the word, brother. 